Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. Well, after a prolonged period of working on Tales from My D&D campaign, at the cost of putting videos on this channel, back into the arena now. In order to ruin my awesome win streak with my deck, which has hardly any spells, although two hexes and two fire elementals does mean that it has some potential to blow up bad things at the right time if I have the cards at the right time, but mostly this deck is just about, like, well, my minions are pretty good, I hope they win, because, eh. <laughs> I will play some stuff. Mage, that probably doesn't bode well for my minions' continued existence. Ew, this is, uh, expensivo. I don't even want Hex, Hex only costs three, but it's really a more of a late-game card. I should almost keep the warden in case I'm screwed, but no, I'm gonna pitch more cards and hope I get some of my guys who are more castable. Ah, okay. Spider tank, then Tinker Town, that's not bad at all. Not good if my opponent has a fast hand, but for this deck, it's fine. Actually I can coin him out, and if for some reason he doesn't instantly get flame I'll cannon, hurry. I could actually do this. No, oh, that's not good. Can't do anything about it now. Except Spider Tank. If the Spider Tank were to survive somehow, it would be nice though. Because otherwise, Tinker Town's gonna be Tinker Trash. Good stuff. Okay. So, I don't think there's anything uber awesome I could do with the Frost Shock, so definitely Tinker Time. And we'll blow this guy up just in case. Opponent could blow up my spider tank by cracking the spider and shooting it. That's a lot of effort, though. Okay, opponent gets a free card. That is not good. And it's a card with some choice involved, which is also not good. Um, I'm concerned by the fact that that seemed like a good move to you at the time. That makes me want to make a healing totem, but I don't know that that's actually going to work out. Now... If I make a healing totem, well, okay, I make a totem, it's probably not going to be a healing totem. That's issue number one. If it's healing or taunt, that's not bad. 1-1 one, one would not be the worst, I guess. I could waste my emergency coolant on this thing to help keep my guys alive. The other possibility is to ignore that, just kill it with this, and then play the rumbling elemental. My opponent will be able to trade all her stuff and shoot and finish off my Tinker Town, but in the meantime I can do some damage. That actually seems pretty solid. Let's let's just go with that plan. Instead of trying to spend a whole bunch of spells on something not very important and hoping to get one of the totems that I actually care about. That's to that. Rumbling is pretty tough. So buddies might just get frost bolted or something, but uh, I'm sure she must have had a plan for like maybe she didn't have a plan. Maybe she just wanted the spider separated. Could happen. I mean, it means more stats on the table, but. It's risky. I, I found most people want to hang on to their spiders a long time in case there's an area we... It deters your opponent from doing stuff. It's like, it's only a 1-2, but it's a minion your opponent doesn't want to kill. Um, I have more spells than I've ever had in the history of the universe, so this would be the time to do some pyromancy, I think. Probably will involve frostbolting him so that he doesn't attack. Or, actually, I could hit him for two, and then do this. This guy will be pretty vulnerable then, but, yeah, it's not bad. Oh, wait, can this target... It's enemy character, so I can do that to my opponent, hit them for one, to trigger this, because the one damage from this will do that stuff anyway. Otherwise, I'd leave him alive. I don't like that, so, yeah. Because okay. I could do one damage to him with the thing, but then, yeah. This way, I get to kill the... Uh, guy who's hiding. Still saving my good stuff. And I even get to make a totem, which if it was a healing totem would be awesome. No. I always get healing totems when they're worthless, which is a lot of the time. But I'm not going to get the healing totem to hose the enemy mage the way I was hosed last time the situation was reversed. There was that one healing totem that screwed me so bad when I was a mage. Like, most of a game, I just couldn't get around to killing it without screwing myself up. Yeah, I would have liked him to be alive. It would have been nice. 
Foobot is a battle cry, but it won't work. Be I don't think this will happen because, like, it is says a battle cry. I don't know if that counts or not. I don't want to find out right now. I think the thing to do is, I can't get my opponent down low enough to get the bonus for this guy, but I can still get two free damage from playing him. And he's a 6-6 six, six for 6, he's not the worst. Hit the spider? Yes! That's what I wanted. Excellent. That was about as good as that turn could go. I have a surprising amount of spells. I have like all the spells in my deck right now. Oh, come on. Yes, okay. It would have been annoying if she had won the charge on him to hit this guy and then shoot him. Uh, Secret is also pretty annoying, I, w I will admit. If I do this, I can do that. I don't know what the secret is. I might be giving my opponent a copy of it, but I'm willing to risk that. Yeah. It happens. I still have the uh, the emergency coolant I can use. I can do stuff. Let's see what I damage with my other guy. Uh, this is probably the best thing. A Fell Reaver will... I don't want to risk the Fell Reaver. That never just, it just never goes well for me. Even though it would be big and smashy. I'm, no, I'm not going to do it. Even though this is probably not the right choice. Fell Reaver is probably the right choice, actually. But No, so what we're going to do is... I think this guy is... He was doing okay, but we're going we're gonna to get rid of him for now. We're going to freeze this and smash you. And suddenly I have a lot of damage on the table, and Horsey there can't do anything about it right now. But I have a Bloodlust, so if for some reason I didn't get Flame Strike, then I could have Bloodlusted and done a lot. Okay. Warden. So, Bloodlust is not going to win me the game right now. So it's going to be Hex, I think. I'm going to hit for, hit do, for, do the damage first, then Hex. Because maybe next turn he can uh, he can kill it with his one damage. Getting out of totem would have been really good because it would increase the chances I could have won with the bloodlust, but it's pretty risky. I mean, my guys, my six two is still very vulnerable. But, uh. I need to spend a polymorph to kill his two hit point ass. I am okay with that, as far as these things go. Bloodlust isn't big enough to get that guy. I could just waste my second hex. Like that I won't have anything left for killing minions, but my board position will be pretty good after I kill both those guys. And play him and make a totem. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna hope that I can bloodlust my opponent's face off next turn. Because my army is individually not that strong. Well, there's a healing totem. I would say better late than never, but I'm probably just going to get flame strike again, and, and four hit points won't be enough for him. If, however, a couple of these guys survive, I may be in bloodlusting position. That's not going to stop me. Neither is that. You're running out of stopping me power. You successfully killed the sheep. Congratulations! Oh my god. Excessive force. That's why we try to play with a copy of Bloodlust. I don't usually want more than one in the deck. Because it's really easy to have you have two Bloodlusts in your hands in your two Bloodlusts in your hand, and it's not usually a good situation, especially the earlier in the game it happens. But it's worth the risk of having one of those sitting in your hand for a long time because it is quite the kill in a class that can generate minions, even if those minions are just totems. Okay. Four wins! This is officially a good run already. I have more spells than I thought. I forgot that I had the Bloodlust. So I've got, like, what, four spells? And then I can get more potentially from spare parts. Although, that's a little bit dicey. Um, oh, damn it. This is... Uh, I'm going to pitch him and the Hex. I'm going to keep the other two, because that's not horrible curve. But I need a cheap guy. Okay. Pyromancer is fine. Pyromancer is not going to get to do his thing in all likelihood, although potentially if I don't coin him out.
Um, I think I'm just gonna coin him out, though. I don't think that the value I would get from saving the coin was gonna work out to be worth it. It, it depends what my opponent plays. There are things my opponent could play that would make that have been worth it, but I think I'm better off just having him out and then make a totem. That's unfortunate. Yoink. Yeah, don't even care which one it is. Well, I'm sure I will care in a second, but it didn't affect whether I was ending my turn or not, that's for sure. Okay, I could hex that guy, I'm not going to, but uh, play the Mosher, and I think I'm going to burst his bubble. I don't know if that's the swift move or not, but yeah, that is a lot of bubbles. God damn it. That's also not fortunate. Okay. Um, this is not going in the ideal fashion at this moment. But uh, I think the thing to do is kill the 1-1, one, because one, this thing's not long for the world for this world in any case. Kill the 1-1, one, one, and then what do I want to play? I want to play Blastoise here, or just more stats? I think this guy, actually, against a bunch of two attack minions. His stats, oddly enough, work out to be really fine against this stuff. And then also, if I happen to do a battle cry thing, it could work out. And I have options. Um, that is really bad, because that card gets a tremendous amount of value, especially in the arena. And also, it kills that thing without my opponent having to spend it. Um, man, this is... Wow, is that unfortunate. So, I think this guy's not long for this world. Now... It is hurting my longer term capabilities, but like if I play this guy, I don't think it's going to work out for him the way I would like. I think my best option, hexing this guy would not be bad, but it's only going to get worse from here on out, so I want to save that. Whereas if I win Speaker, I can get this guy Wind Fury, it'll do two damage to something random, and then he, with his Wind Fury, he can go and kill these guys probably. So I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. Do free two random damage, preferably don't hit the Paladin. Don't hit the Paladin. interesting. He dies if he takes that out. I don't think that's worth it. I think I'm much better off killing these guys. That was pretty decent, like, smashing there. My, my forces are not long for this world. Wow, crap commando has made an appearance. He's gonna work out okay right now, especially with the plus one, plus one. That makes him much less bad. Yeah, let's run out of mechs just in time for him. Um... Yeah, it's pretty terrible. I think the best thing I can do right now, again, I don't really want to hex him. This guy's not going to get his plus three, plus three this game, so I think the best thing to do is just play him as a 6-6. Six, six. If my opponent uses the sword to finish him off, then he'd be like using this guy and taking six damage, and as one less plus one, plus one to go out there, so that would be okay. Like, yes, that's not great for me, but my opponent spent a lot of effort on that, and this guy is totally, totally worth hexing. I kind of want to do this and one of these guys in the same turn, whereas if I put him out now, he's at risk of getting blown up or something, but it doesn't matter, because that guy has to be hexed. I am killing so much value by hexing him. He was already big with his plus one, plus one, but I also killed three two twos with that one card, so... Yeah. Funnel cakes. Funnel cakes. Funnel cakes? Okay. Being worthless as usual. A 3-5 who is just slowing down the game. It's certainly not particularly advantageous to my opponent for him to do that. Um, so I could get this guy out now. Which, as long as I'm going to have something else to go with him, and I would, because I could play this and get a spare part and maybe a 4-4 four, four, and have this guy out so that you have to kill him last like, when there's nothing on the board. I wonder. Alternatively, if I played this guy, then I could kill the uh, the frog, and then kill my opponent's steam tank, and then all he'd have left is that, whereas I'd have this guy at full stats, this guy with one hit point, or two hit points. Two hit points is not bad. And I would still be able to spare part. Yeah, I think this guy's going to have to hold on. That's that's looking pretty good when you start talking out what's actually going to happen in this situation. Oh, no. Let's see what spare part it is before I do this. I don't think it matters. But that's pretty good. 
In fact, I think I'm going to use that. 2-5 taunt. That protects my Yeti from being funnel caked. So, I have a decent army. We have the same number of cards. I actually have one more card. It's my opponent's turn. So, he effectively he has one card less. Oh my god. That thing is rough. I am glad that I threw this guy in the way of it. Because that card is so strong. Seal of, like, amazing champion death powers. Okay, that sucks. Now I'm not going to be able to get to him. These guys aren't big enough. Even if I'm doing this, I'm not going to be able to get to him. It's not going to work. Like, even if I went used one of these guys to knock off the shield, then blew it up with this, I still can't take out the 6-5. So he's going to be able to take out my Fire Elemental. I could instead, I could save the Fire Elemental for now. These guys would just take that out, which is not good. But then I play a Tinker Town, and I get out the Sentinel, which is kind of annoying for my opponent, I assume. Let, let's see what I get spare parts, because I can still do this afterwards. Time Rewinder. Rewinding him is awesome, but very expensive, right? Whereas this guy would get back a lot of stats if I killed the bubble and then bounced him. Kill that. Replay him. Although my opponent's getting a spare part when I do that, too. I don't think it's important enough to do that. Although, uh, he's going to be vulnerable to that if he takes that out. Okay, fine. I am doing this. It's not ideal, but... Uh, replay him. Actually... I just realized, I don't need to replay him right away. If I have the extra mana, I might as well play uh, Anubis there. Anubisath. Okay. Healbot, okay, wasted healing. That's not particularly bothersome, especially... Okay, oh, I take it back. I can't blow him up in one thing like I wanted to. However, this could be worse. Getting this, the plus three, plus three, would be kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth trying to arrange for that, though. Right now, it would just go to this guy. He would be very large. Right, if I suicide this to kill that. Which is not bad. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to do that. It'll, it'll take a fair amount of effort to kill him at that point. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to fight it out. I still had a handful of solid, solid minions. That guy was a quitter. He he was he had run out of cards in his hand. He had just wasted his heal bot's extra health, which is fine. He had to get the stuff in play. He needed something. I think holding off would have been even worse for him. But, yeah, I guess he, he knew his deck wasn't going to pick up any steam. So, wow. Five wins. No losses yet. I'm sure they're coming, though next time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.